And if you like this reading, uh, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do, as I always ask you. Um, and uh, I'm just going to start you reading for Cancer right now. So the first card you have your past is the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so this is obviously um, a card of, you know, a lot of emotion. She's the Queen of Emotion. Um, I think at this time you're still getting over someone. I think uh, I think this might have been in the last reading as well, actually. But, you know, you're almost there at that time, I think. And uh, you're really, really getting there now. I think you're just about there. Um, you know, you'll be totally over, over this soon um, if this is resonating. Um, you know, there's a cliff. Look at this queen. There's a cliff behind this queen. And, uh, you know, if you're standing on the edge of a cliff and you're looking over the sea at the horizon, you know, sometimes you can't see where the sky meets the sea. If it's a beautiful day, if the sky is really blue, you know, sometimes you can't tell where one starts and the other one ends. And, you know, sky is, sky is um, you know, obviously a freedom when you're flying up in the sky. And C is obviously representing emotion. So you're coming out of that C, you're coming out of those emotions, those deep emotions, those difficult emotions, and you're heading up into the sky, um, up into freedom from this person. But at the moment, you're just on the horizon, you're just on the cliff's edge, you're just about to jump off, you're not going to fall into the sea, you're going to fly up into the sky. That's what I'm seeing. Um, you know, I think, um, you know, that doesn't mean you'll never ever think of them again, ever again. Uh, it just means you're going to be free. You're going to be free of this hold um, that they had over you and that they still probably have a little bit now. Uh, you know, it's not as if they even knew they had a hold on you. That's just how it was. You probably weren't even speaking to them. There's just this little bit. You still have them in your heart. They're still in you. And now you're just going to let this whole thing go and you're going to fly into freedom. Um, you might be over this already because this is in the past, but I think, you know, I don't think anyone knew how deeply you were really feeling about this um, when you're trying to get over this. You know, you're keeping a lot of this to yourself. You know, this cup has a lid on it, so you're keeping your emotions under the lid for a long, long time. Um, yeah, and, you know, you'll definitely be over this soon if you're not already. I'm seeing that really, really clearly here. And you, you just feel so free. I mean, I'm really feeling that freedom. You just need to let go of that last little bit and then you're off. That's what I'm seeing in that uh, card. The next card you have your past is the Three of Pentacles. Um, yeah, I don't think there was a third party in this relationship. Um, I know the Three of Pentacles can mean that sometimes. Uh, there might have been someone hanging around this though, I think, hanging around on the edges. Um, I'm seeing someone sort of sort of waiting and watching, hanging around, waiting for some kind of opportunity to come in. Uh, I think they were waiting to have some kind of opportunity with your ex, I think. And I think this ex of yours might have um, not encouraged this. I don't think they're encouraging it, but they were a bit flattered by it, I think. I think it boosted their ego and they knew uh, that this person was there. They knew this and they sort of kept them around on the edges as well. They weren't, it's not that they were like saying, oh, come and be around, you know, next to me or talking to them. It was like they didn't discourage them. They didn't tell them. They did actively go up to them and say, you know, I'm with someone. Can you please just go? Or, you know, they didn't do or say anything. They just kind of kept them there. And uh, if what I'm seeing here is correct, it's actually really disrespectful behavior. Um, and you knew, you knew they had a little bit of a disrespectful attitude. Whether you knew about this other person or not, I don't know, but you felt that. You felt that kind of disrespect coming from them. And, um, you know, I think there were times when you were trying to get over this and, and you might have been feeling a little bit angry with yourself, actually, because you knew about this disrespect. Uh, you know, you might have been thinking something like, oh, I got no respect for them. Why do I still miss someone like that? I shouldn't miss someone like that. But, you know, don't, there's no, there are no should and shouldn'ts when it comes to the heart. There really aren't. The heart isn't logical. And, uh, you know, the Queen of Cups understands that more than anyone. It just it just takes however long it takes to get someone out of your head and out of your heart. But um, yeah, again, you're right on the edge, right on the verge of getting over this. And I hope you are already, or at least you're, you know, you're about to. I hope this does resonate with you. Um, the last card you have for your past is uh, the Seven of Swords. Yes. 
Um, yeah, this is a horrible card. It's it, it's a really tricky card. It's very sneaky. Um, I think this has something to do with words. It's not about anything that happened physically. I'm not I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing some kind of a talk or gossip or something. Um, I think there might have been some talk, probably online, maybe. Um, and uh, I'm feeling a lot of jealousy around this talk. So I think it probably came from this person who was hanging around, this person I was seeing in the Three of Pentacles, because I'm feeling, um, the feeling I'm getting around them is um, that they're very jealous for a start, and also they don't play by the normal rules. It's almost like they think they're above all of that, and they can go around causing problems for people. So you know, I don't think they were uh, spreading gossip about you directly, but they might have been hinting at things, saying kind of nasty things um, in a kind of a more subtle way. So, um, you know, and because of that, I think some people might have been watching this or hearing this and getting the wrong impression of you, maybe. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of people around this, so I don't think many people actually saw this. But um yeah, this person was definitely jealous of you and this ex when you were together. Look at this man. Um, I don't know if you can see this. You can just see. Um, this man in this card, you know, he's looking back at these two swords that are stuck in the ground. And, uh, you know, I think these two swords are representing you and your ex when you're together. And uh, this person was observing you and watching you and looking at you and seeing you as stable, as a stable couple, next, stuck next to each other, stuck in the earth, you know, stuck in the stability. And obviously they didn't like that. Um, and so they were looking back at that, trying to think, what can I do? What can I do to get involved? How, how can I kind of take their place? How can I get in there? What can I do? So they were kind of calculating. Um, there's another thing around this as well, around this kind of gossip. Um, I think someone changed their mind about you, a, a completely separate person. Um, I think their opinion of you changed. And I think what happened was they might have seen this or heard this gossip or whatever, but now they've changed their mind. And I think they realised none of this was true. And uh, their opinion of this person who was causing the problems changed as well. Their opinion wasn't good of that person when they found out. They were like, well, I don't think much of that person. I, I, I'm not going to speak to them. Um, and yeah, this is what happens to these kinds of people who spread gossip. They're always found out in the end. Um, and I don't know if you even knew about any of this gossip or this talk, but uh, there's someone who stopped talking to you or they distanced themselves from you or something like that. And now they're suddenly wanting to connect with you again. Um, so if that's happening, if that if that resonates with you, this might be why this person suddenly coming back to talk to you again, because they realise what they heard wasn't true. Um, so that's what I'm seeing around that. So the first card you have your present is the uh, yeah the three of swords. So nobody likes this card. Um, I think this person in the seven of swords might have said quite a lot about you actually in a very sneaky way, in a very subtle sneaky way. I think they also might have said uh, quite a lot about your ex as well because I think your ex, um, you know, I think they're on the sidelines waiting for their turn and then I think when this ex was available, when your ex was available, um, I think your ex might have rejected this person actually. It's like they waited for their moment, they waited and waited, they tried to trick, they tried to do things, they finally thought their time was come and then they missed out. So I think this ex might even be with someone else right now. But yeah, you're well out of this whole mess. This is a great big mess. You're so much better off out of this. And, you know, I know you're absolutely 100%, um, you know, moving on from all of this, which is fantastic. But I think there's also going to be some information that's going to come out. And you're going to hear this. And, uh, yeah, it, you're going to find this out quite quickly, very soon. Um, OK, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I'll just tell you what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a picture. This is something you're going to come across, probably on social media. Um, I don't think it's a new picture, but you'll probably see it for the first time. This will be the first time you'll have seen this. And this big revelation, I think it'll probably be around a number, so it'll be a date. So I think you might find out that this is something that happened on a date. Maybe it was something that happened while you were still together. 
and this person was doing something while you're still together or saying something or something and uh, or it's going to show you something happened around that time that you didn't know about that's what I'm seeing it's definitely going to be a surprise for you um, and the picture some kind of um, it's some kind of summer scene maybe there's a blue sky in the background there's a lot of sun in the picture um, you know it might be in the park or at the beach it's a summer scene people are going to be wearing you know summer clothes um, now it's going to be a shock for you but the the good thing here in this is that, yeah, it's not going to feel good, obviously, but it's going to put the final nail in the coffin of this for you. There's absolutely no going back from this. You weren't going back anyway, but I think this might actually completely cut off your feelings very, very quickly for this person. You know, I think even though you're getting over them, you're still kind of, we're going to look back over this every now and again and say, oh, well, you know, there was some love for them, but yes, it's over, so I'm going to move on now. Now you're just not going to think that at all. You're going to be like, I don't want to even think about this person. When they come into my head, they're going straight out again. I'm going to push them out. I do not even want to think about that person. When I do think about them, it's going to be negative. That's the kind of thing I'm seeing around that card. So the next card you have your present um, is the Ace of Wands. So yeah, uh, this is the card of action, pure action. And I'm really, really happy to see this here because this means you're pushing forward with something. And I think this might have been in your last reading as well. This is something you really wanted to manifest. Um, it's something work related or business related, I think. And because now you're going to completely have this totally behind you, you're going to be able to get concentrate on this 100% now. So I think you've been working on this already a bit. I think you've been going quite well with this. But I think now it's really going to start to escalate and you're going to be able to put a lot more work into this now. Um, I'm also seeing moving around this, something about moving or traveling. Uh, I don't think you'll be moving or traveling right at the beginning, but um, it's definitely going to come a bit later. Uh, I think it's either going to be something like traveling around, maybe going to meetings and things like that, or it might even be, um, you know, about you permanently moving, moving to somewhere permanently, because um, I'm actually seeing you know, one thing leading to another thing. So you might find that, you know, you travel a bit and the market for whatever you're doing ends up being in a certain place and you end up traveling to that place. Um, it might be like that. There's definitely some kind of travel around this. It's not going to happen for a while though. So there's a lot to work that has to happen before you get to that stage. Um, the other thing is, this is enjoyable work. You're going to really enjoy doing this. So this is fantastic, really is. And it's not going to be that you're going to have to do this work to take your mind off this person. You do not care. After you get this revelation, after you find this out, that is the end of that person for you. Absolutely, that's what I'm seeing. The last card you have your presence, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, again, this is really, really similar to what I was seeing in your last reading. You might have even had this card in your last reading. I, I'm just getting flashbacks, I think. Um, yeah, this thing that you're working on, it's going to start speeding up really, really quickly. Um, and uh, I'm seeing a lot of customers, a lot of clients. So yeah, make sure you're prepared for this. Uh, the fact that I'm seeing all this all whole thing all again makes it uh, means it's definitely, definitely going to happen to you. 100% it's happening. Um, you know, this is fantastic. I mean, who cares about silly gossiping people when this is happening, right? Not you. Um, I think you might have to either uh, partner up with some people or you might have to employ people. And yeah, this is all going to happen a lot faster than you thought it would. So if this is all resonating, start preparing for this now. Uh, if you can, think about who you'd like to work with, who you'd like to have on your team. Maybe start asking people casually, would you be interested in this? Start planning. Once this all speeds up, you won't have much time to think about anything else at all. Um, it's it, This is fantastic. So the first card you have your future is the Eight of Swords, yes. So... Yeah, this is interesting because I was seeing moving or traveling in the Ace of Wands and I'm seeing something, the need to move or something like that here. I'm getting this feeling of um, something not being quite right around your home or something not feeling right. 
It might be uh, inside your home, it might be someone who you're living with, or it might be something around your home. Uh, it's not a good feeling. So I think eventually you're going to move or someone else is going to move. Uh, I think you might be feeling a little bit stuck at this time. Uh, it's definitely going to ease. You're, you're, you're going to be feeling a lot freer um, when all of this changes, and it will change. You won't be like this forever. Um, I'm also seeing you having to set up some kind of workplace or work area outside of your home. You might have already set um, an area up inside of your home, but I think you're probably going to have to create another separate workspace outside of your home. There's a lot of disruption around your home. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I think the message here is that uh, if this is all resonating, sort this out now before this busy time comes in. You might not be able to sort out your home problem right away, but try to find some other kind of workplace or workspace. Uh, you're going to need a peaceful area, office, something like that outside of your home. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have your future is the Five of Wands. Uh, yeah, look at this chaos in this card. Uh, it might not be as bad as what what's on this card. I hope it's not. But um, yeah, you don't want this kind of chaos around you. You need to find some kind of very quiet space, some kind of very private space. Um, I don't know if you're having problems with a neighbour. I just saw that. It might be that. Um, it's someone either around your place or in your place. But whoever this is, um, if you do decide to take it further in some way, if, if it is a neighbour or something like that, um, I think you'll probably have to plan this quite carefully. Uh, you'll have to be quite strategic. You'll have to think very carefully about how you can go about this. Um, but just know that whatever you decide to do about this, you're on the solid ground, uh, like the people on this card. You're the one who's stable. You're the one who's solid. So I think if you did take them on in any way, whatever this is, um, you'd come out very well. That's what I'm seeing. You'd come out on top. So the last card you have your future is the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. You're very stable. Uh, you have good business sense as well. I'm seeing that here as well, uh, which is looking really positive for you. Um, I, I think this might also be a message to you, um, reminding you maybe to keep some of these business ideas uh, or this project uh, to yourself, not from everyone. Um, you know, this is going to take off and you're going to have to include a lot of people in this. And, you know, when it does take off, there's no way you'll be able to hide this from anyone if that's what you wanted to do. But... There is someone around you who you might have to be a bit uh, vague with, a bit careful with. Uh, look at the way this queen's protecting this coin. That's the way you need to see this business um, or this project or whatever this is. You need to protect it. And I think you need to protect it from someone. Um, I think you know who you can talk to about this and who you can't. Um, I'm actually seeing one specific person and... Um, I think this happens quite a lot with this person. I think whenever you talk to them or you go to talk to them, um, you always tell yourself that you're not going to say anything about your plans or this and that. You're not going to tell them this. You're not going to tell them that. And then when you're around them, you always end up telling them and then you regret it afterwards. That's what I'm seeing. It's almost as if their talk sort of cheapens whatever you're sharing with them. Um, they kind of say something a little bit shady or they say something that's not that great. And even if it is, it's even if they are saying something that seems encouraging, it's always a little bit patronizing or something. Um, so yeah, if this all resonates, if you know who this is, do not talk to them. Um, for your own preservation, for the sake of this business thing, do not talk to them. And if you, if you, if this person says, oh, come and talk to me, or you're on the phone to them, or you talk to them, whatever, and you're, oh, it's on the tip of your tongue, you're about to say this, oh, I'm planning this great thing. Don't say anything. Look at this queen of pentacles. Think about this image in your mind. Look at this queen protecting this coin. Protect what you have from that person. Don't tell them anything. Just remember that. That's what I'm seeing in that card. So Cancer, um, I hope this resonated. Uh, as you know, journal readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching.